The relief of seeing this wreck is actually undescribable. It's not been a good time, and it's gonna rain again. How fitting. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classics. So today we're here on Whiteheart Island for another searching for a rare video. This time we're after rare whitetail and I decided to start in the trophy lodge here uh, just to show off the new albino whitetail. I didn't take this recently. Uh, the old albinos that were already mounted actually got changed into the new one. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is what they look like. You can see uh, the much more pink eyes uh, and hooves and they're just a lot brighter white than they used to be. So that's what we're after today, although I like one with antlers, uh, but albino is my main target. Of course, I'm not going to complain if we get a piebald or melanistic, but we are on the southern part of Whiteheart Island, and I'm not really sure what path I'll take yet, because for the most part, uh, I end up getting led around, but generally I'm attempting to go to all of the towers, especially the last one here where my tent's at. Uh, I've had Plenty of hunts where I've killed five plus white tail bucks in that tower. So depending on where we're at and depending on if we've gotten a rare yet, uh, by the time we get there, we may loop back down and like go down one coast or the other. Most likely the one I just drew, but we might go down the other coast uh, depending on what we're seeing. And yeah, let's see if we can get ourselves a rare white tail. So it looks like we'll be starting off with a not so rare white tail though. By the way, our loadout today, uh, our main weapon will be the Parker Python. I've also got the 243 and the 308 Rival. So when she decides to stop, or maybe we'll just take her as she's walking. She is down, and we've got another whitetail doe calling. I feel like if you're going to um, specifically hunt for a rare whitetail, it has to be here on Whiteheart Island. Uh, they're just everywhere. There are so many whitetail deer here uh, in a very small area. Like, uh, if we just go back to the map, this southern part is not that big. Uh, and there's... I've definitely had hunts with, like, 25 and 30... Uh, just on this small part, and uh, sometimes you can get lucky and you'll actually get a rare down here. Now, as for whether or not we'll actually get lucky enough to take a rare this hunt, that remains to be seen, but we actually have a uh, buck that just called to the right, so hopefully we can make a good shot here. Not that her running uh, would affect that, but obviously I don't want to be uh, having to track her after we get the buck. You can see my marker on the hunter mate. That is where he grunted from. I just thought of this. Does a non-typical count? I think it does. Uh, I think a non-typical whitetail would be uh, rare enough for me anyway. I definitely would take that, so yeah. I think we've probably got the best chance of actually finding a rare uh, whitetail, including non-typicals, uh, out of the three episodes we've done so far uh, with the bison and goose, so maybe this guy will be the one. I've had non-typicals come from exactly there before, so we've got a chance. And unfortunately, this guy is completely common and very typical. 105 to 130 on the score estimate. And we should probably stand up because we're kind of glitching off the edge there. We'll have to take him pretty soon. Oh, that'll work. I think I've had them actually wind me uh, from there before because the wind generally does blow south to north. Uh, so when they're on that north side, they have a better chance of actually catching your scent. But a heart shot and a 117 score on that guy, and I should clarify, uh, because I said about having a non-typical exactly there before, there are no spots where non-typicals, like, spawn more, because uh, I know I'm going to get asked that. Uh, it's completely random. Your best chance of finding a non-typical is hunting in places where you tend to find a lot of deer uh, and doing it over and over, because eventually you'll get that right spawn and you'll actually find one. And we've got another typical whitetail coming in, 100 to 120 on the score estimate. And he's actually getting quite close. We should take him out uh, before he realizes that we're here. Not a huge fan of the head-on angle, but... Take him through the neck. So that's, what, four down already, I think? Yeah. Not a bad start. I think we got a pretty good spawn uh, for Whitetail here on the South Island. Actually, didn't catch the neck there. Caught the neck, but not the neck bone, rather. Liver stomach contestant still got the drop shot. That's a little bit lucky, but we'll take it. And another really just average sized white tail buck, 110 to 130 on the score estimate. There's a doe back there behind him, but we'll try to take him there at 27 meters. Should just be able to aim right in the middle. Might have caught like shoulder blade and one lung. So here is our buck. I'm kind of curious where we hit him. I think if we hit him in the shoulder blade, uh, that makes sense. And it kind of looks like we may have been a bit high there. Yeah, shoulder blade and left lung, that kind of explains... Uh, why we only got the one lung there. We probably lacked penetration or maybe we actually shot over it uh, from the angle we had. 
Man, another average whitetail buck, 105 to 125 on this one. The problem is we got a doe right here, uh, but I think he's too close that he would actually spook uh, if we took her with the Parker, so I'm going to wait it out. I'll let her get as close uh, as I can, and actually the fact that she's stopping is really going to help that as long as he keeps moving for a bit. I think we are good. Once again, I'm not a huge fan of the head-on angle, but... Oh my... The doe, oh, okay. <laughs> the doe didn't spook immediately, but I didn't have another arrow uh, anyway. But she is gone. The good thing is we've got her track, and we know she is not a rare. So if I can find my way out of this tower, we'll go grab our white-tailed buck. The thing is, all it takes is just one good one to completely turn a hunt around. Like, we could have a crap hunt with 15 does and nothing, and then the only buck we find is a 300-plus non-typical. So hopes are still high. 106 score on this guy. The good thing is I've had tracks from, I think, three or four different bucks uh, heading north now, so maybe we're kind of getting into the territory that they're in and leaving some of the does behind. Another average whitetail buck. We're still in the same tower, by the way, but we actually just had another one grunt, so taking that first one silently was definitely the right idea. He is down. I hope we didn't spook the other one. I haven't even seen him yet, uh, but... That guy was going to sneak right under our tower and probably spook, so kind of had to go for it. And there is that guy, which is actually another average white tail buck. He'll be the biggest one so far, I think, because he's got uh, more tines than the rest. But, man, actually, he's got a really tiny rack, just a lot of points. The good thing is, though, check out the weight of that guy, 90 to 100 kilograms. If I would have picked up that track, I would have wasted so much time tracking him. So, luckily, he came to us. Uh, and I'm not going to be running around after like an 85 to 100 kilogram track uh, that's like an hour old just trying to find it. We'll just hopefully take him out and drop him and move on. The only good thing is the more of these small ones we take out, the more likely it is that the next grunt uh, is going to be a big one. I knew that was going to happen. I knew as soon as I said that uh, we need to... Oh, another buck. My goodness. There, this is the hot spot right now. But anyway, I knew as soon as I said that we'd uh, want to drop that guy and move on, I knew I wasn't going to make the shot. It always happens that way, and it's not that I, like, it's not like the pressure gets to me, but I just, I mess something up, and I don't even know what it is. But here is this one. Got him with a heart shot, which we would have done that on the one we just shot, but that buck was far enough away we can check the blood on the one we just shot. I guess maybe single lung... Uh, or liver, something like that. I'm not really sure. Okay, so I think our buck is right in front of us. Something's walking down here, and I can only imagine it's going to be him. Uh, I went to where I heard him call, because I had a feeling he went uh, and bedded down, and he did, but then he got up and apparently ran from a good distance, because by the time I got to the fleeing tracks, they were 8 to 15 minutes old, and I never actually... Hello. I never actually heard, uh, like, the fleeing sound. So, another average whitetail buck, probably him. We're going to take him out with the 308 or shoot him with the 308. Hopefully that'll kill him. We've already got another one intestine hit to track, uh, but I think that's going to take him down rather quickly. The 308 is a pretty powerful handgun. And here he is. Uh, I was very wrong about him not going very far. Only a two minute wound time, but he covered some distance in that two minutes. Uh, as for the one that I intestine hit with the bow, I'm probably going to go back for that later. He wasn't very big either. Uh, we are going to head to that last tower, which I don't think I have camping supplies, so I guess we're walking it. I just don't understand how this many average bucks are even in this game. This guy looks kind of cool. His one antlers got a couple of stickers on it, but other than that... Oh my goodness, I can't shoot anything either. Uh, there's another buck coming in. It's not a 120s. Uh, it's actually a lot less common than a 120s buck, uh, believe it or not. It's that guy right there, 25 to 45. I mean, I'm more excited to shoot him than I've been to shoot the rest of the bucks. At least he's tiny, that's kind of rare. This is turning into that Settler Creeks hunt from a while back, and I really don't like it. 25 to 45. I'm actually taking a trophy shot at him, assuming I can actually get him. That's been a problem the last couple of deer. Just wanted to use the 308 there to guarantee a kill, although 
darn near messed that up the last time I used the 308 as well. So, to be fair, I'm pretty sure this is the best buck we've killed so far. A lot of you would probably agree with that. 33. That might be the smallest whitetail buck I've ever killed. 5.2 CSS. You may be wondering where my avatar is in this picture, but he's back there. Crying. Because we can't find a decent buck. What the... You know, we're just going to go with that. I don't know what happened. We're just going to go with that, and we're going to leave, and we're going to go track the other buck that we shot. Oh, this hunt. You know, I had high hopes for this hunt. Lots of rares been being killed lately. We had four in one hunt the other day. Uh, yeah, this one's not working out so good. The relief of seeing this rack is actually indescribable. Uh, two hours and 45 minutes in, almost 11 kilometers traveled, and we finally have a decent white tail buck. Forget a rare at this point, just a decent buck. Uh, and I think I'm going to take him with a gun. I just, this hunt, man, it's not been a good time, and it's going to rain again. How fitting. He is down, but of course, with the rain, I'm going to have to wait that much longer to take the trophy shot. I might not even wait. Uh, huh. To be quite honest, this video is already going to be pushing being uploaded late because of the internet. Uh, but finally, 158 score. I could not be more happy to see a buck over 130. This hunt was so bad, but it was better than the Settler Creek's hunt. Got to say that. Not a bad looking picture. I think we are in the shadows anyway. I can see like the shadows of the leaves moving around on the deer and on my avatar. So we're probably better off taking the picture like this. It'll actually look a little bit better. Uh, then with the shadows everywhere, but man, what a hunt. I'm probably going to edit out a lot of the does, um, just because a lot of that was probably rather boring since we didn't even have like a decent buck in the middle to uh, kind of balance that out. But yeah, if you guys watched all the way to this point through all the not very fun parts, thank you for sticking around. Uh, and yeah, no rares, but at least we got a decent buck. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.